who actually lived through the blacklist era. Have yes. you ever seen this kind of social pressure on performers not to never, perform? Never, never. Doug, I swear, out of the 61 years I was in the business, and I'm 81 now, I'll be 82 this year, I have never in my life seen, I never thought I would see something like this. This is mind-boggling. Well, the great Sam Moore, as Mr. Moore, you just heard him say, the ideological enforcers are out in force. Hollywood is always tilted left, obviously, but now actors can't even get away with trying to be politically neutral. Anything less than hostility toward Donald Trump is crime think, punishable by death or at least a bunch of threatening tweets. What's at the root of Hollywood's neo-McCarthyism? We're joined now by radio show host and Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce. Tammy, it's great to see you. Well, great so to see you. It's sort of an obvious question. I mean, I thought the whole point of being an artist was you think for yourself and you're willing to go against the grain and sort of stand alone if need be, and yet you're seeing this stifling conformity right in the heart of the artistic community, so-called. Why is that? Yeah, look, it's fascinating because creativity requires a free mind. And this is what's now kind of destroying uh, Hollywood. Uh, Vanity Fair is reporting that last year's uh, going to be the worst ticket sales for that industry in 100 years. So they're destroying huh. themselves, and their, their product, I think, reflects that. I think what's at the heart of this, though, is recognizing the failure of the industry, and they're hoping for a larger federal government that they were hoping for under Hillary Clinton, where you would have bailouts, where you would have effectively a nationalization of the industry like they were thinking they were going to get with health care, uh, which is what Europe does. European federal governments pay for the films. They, they, they've nationalized television, and all you have to do is cozy up to politicians. Here now... It's about dealing with the American people. Meryl Streep doesn't like it very much, but what you're alluding to and what we've seen are people like Nicole Kidman, a fabulous actress, just recommending unity to an English uh, journalist. She then had to come back and clarify what she meant in saying that we should support the president-elect no matter who it is. Jennifer Holliday facing death threats, obscene um, references regarding race to get her to quit an agreed-upon yeah. uh, concert for the inaugural. So they're trying to enforce a liberal point of view that they were hoping that would resume in Washington. And it's like a cult that everybody's got to have the same dynamic, the same group think, uh, in order for uh, leadership to survive. Boy, I never even considered the plan you just noted, that taxpayers would be subsidizing Leonardo DiCaprio's plane. That's pretty uh, <laughs> ominous. But you really get the sense, listening to actors in Hollywood, that they believe that the rest of the country has an obligation that will never end to support their work. This will never go away. There's no normal obligation that a retailer has to his or her customers to yeah. kind of like you know, not yell at them. You know well, what I mean? Well, when you have an attitude like, and look, I know many actors, uh, A-list individuals who yeah. have, uh, talk to me about that they, they don't agree with what's going on, but even if they speak up, and the attacks on Nicole Kidman were a signal to those A-listers that we will, att we will uh, attack you as well. You are not immune uh, from what we expect from you. So, so they, they've decided they're either going to be silent or they are going to pretend. So what I would tell all of my listeners and would tell your viewers is, not all of Hollywood agrees with this, but it is a cult-like dynamic where people feel that there's no way out, there's no other way to do their art, and that they yeah. have to acquiesce. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty frightening for them. Uh, and of course, uh, for, the, for the nation, we're rejecting it, we're rejecting the product, because it also doesn't allow creative people to be themselves. Exactly, because you can't create art under those circumstances. You can only create propaganda, and exactly. that's just deadening for everybody. Tammy, great to see you tonight. Thank you for that. That was super interesting. Thanks for having me.